Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today we want to talk about rich faith. The Bible declares to us who is rich in faith according to James chapter 2 verse 5 through verse 10. As we know from the scripture in 2 Peter 1 verse 5 through 7 that faith is the foundation of the Christian's life. See, God had chosen the poor. He says these people are rich in faith and they are heirs of the kingdom. So in preference to the rich, of this world God chose the poor why those that are rich in this world the Bible said they just do not have faith because they are dependent upon their riches but God is seeing the poor as James tells us we should not show partiality to them. And James, James demonstrated this in verse 5 of James chapter 2 all the way to verse 13. And he gave strong reasons why the believer should not show partiality to the rich why the rich should not look down on the poor first of all God is dishonored he is not pleased when the poor is not treated fairly God honors the poor God has chosen the poor people of this world to be rich in faith and hears of the kingdom which he promised to those who love him. So the poor are God's elect. The poor is God's chosen the poor are years of God and lovers of God. We find repeatedly in scripture that it is the poor people, not the rich, who rally to the banner and the cause of Christ. Our Lord himself said, the poor of the gospel preached to them said Matthew 11 and verse 5 it was the common people who heard him gladly not the wealthy or the aristocratic Mark 12 and verse 37 not many nobles are called but the foolish, the base, the weak, the despised, the insignificant. First Corinthians 1 verse 26 and 27. Rich people are what? Ordinarily poor in faith. They don't trust God like the one who is poor and your total dependence is up on God instead they trust their riches and so on the other hand poor people have been chosen by God and yes they are rich in faith if a survey should be taken 
guess what? The citizens of the kingdom, it would reveal to us that the citizens in the kingdom, most of them have been poor. And they are the ones who will occupy positions of wealth and glory. Then it is peril it is perilous if we treat with contempt those who are poor or those who one day will be the ones who are exalted in the kingdom of our Lord and the Savior. Another reason why it is foolish to show preference to the rich that as a class they are the ones who have what charistically oppressed the people of God. The idea here is why show favoritism to people just because they are rich. Another reason why it is foolish to be partial towards the rich is that they habitually use harsh speeches involving the name of Christ. The noble name by which the believer is called. And lastly, why show difference to the rich when they are the ones who violate the law? that we should love our neighbor as ourselves. This law is called the royal law. It belongs to the king. And because it is the king's law, then we should obey what he says. Let's take a look at James chapter 2 verse 5 through verse 10. He says, Listen, my dear brothers and sisters, has not God chosen those who are poor in the eyes of the world to be rich in faith and to inherit the kingdom he promised those who love him? But you have dishonored the poor. It is not the rich who are exploiting you? Are they not the ones who are dragging you into court? Are they not the ones who are blaspheming the noble name of him to whom you belong? If you really keep the royal law found in scripture, love your neighbor as yourself. You are doing right. But if you show favoritism, you sin and are convicted by the law as lawbreakers. For whoever keeps the old law and yet stumbles at just one point is guilty of breaking it. So today we understand what the noble law says. We should love one another as we love ourselves. Therefore, we will not look down on the poor or treat them unfairly. Neither exalt or establish the rich because they are rich. But let us remember what the Bible says. God at Choosing the poor to be rich in faith. And he has chosen the poor to be years of the kingdom of God. God bless you today. Thank you again for watching. Please like. Please subscribe. Please share. And please remember to visit my YouTube channel, Daily Med with Lady V, where there are lots more teaching 
for you on various subjects. Stay blessed.